allows you to have come so close. To have the Tesseract, to have power, unlimited power. And for what? And then to be reminded what real power is. What do you think? Does it look the part? It does. Although it's even colder inside than out. I know, it's a disgrace. She changed the lock on our front door and my door key don't fit no more, so get it on over. So you may know him best as uh, Thor's evil sibling, Loki, or from a variety of uh, television and film roles, but in his new movie, I Saw the Light, you will see Tom Hiddleston in a way you've never seen him before as country music legend Hank Williams. And man, is it a long way from London, England, where he is from, to Mount Olive, Alabama, where Hank Williams was from. Yes. What, congratulations on this on this role. I mean, Thank you. You know, and making this transition. I'm just curious about that. This couldn't have been more far away from just, you know, the natural who Tom is, right? Yes. Um, a great distance between me and him. Um, on, Good, physically on, and otherwise. Yeah, physically yeah. and otherwise. Yeah. Um, that was part of the, the, the thing I loved about it. Was, was the foreign territory of it. Um, I think that I, what I love about acting is is trying to bridge the gap and trying to find the common ground between me and the character. And there's so many aspects of Hank that were fascinating. He obviously was, he had this incredible charisma on stage. And he was a, an amazing and electrifying performer. But he had this, he had these demons in his tortured soul, which I found fascinating. I, the tension, I suppose, as an actor, I, it's my job to perform, and I love what I do. But I understand the professional obligation that sometimes you have to deliver something um, above and which is greater than your own personal need. And he really wrestled with that. He really was a troubled soul. I mean, we, I think most people know his songs are Cheat and Heart, Hey, Good Looking, yeah. I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, and the list goes on and on of true classics that are more than 60 years old. But this troubled soul uh, racked with uh, alcoholism and yeah. uh, the abuse of painkillers caused by uh, back trouble. I mean, yeah. you, you really bring out the, the the other side of the Hank Williams that we didn't know. Well, I think it was important to all of us to um, to tell the truth. And and there are many people who are fans of his who, who know that, but pe maybe perhaps people less so. There he is, though. Yeah. Um, and really, the, the, the physical resemblance to you. It's it's funny, you, were, you were a really good choice for this. <laughs> had you sung before? Had, had you, you know, done uh, in a band, in a mm. choir, in I, anything? I never had, never sang, never really? in a band, never in a choir. Yeah. So how I mean, terrifying was that for you? Ab to pure on? white terror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really. It and it, but what, look, even just looking at that footage of him, I think he's singing. Uh, I think he's singing "Cold, Cold Heart" here. Um, on the Opry, and you know, it's interesting that the Grand Ole Opry back in the day was in the age before television and the internet. Everybody would sit around the radio set on the Saturday night and listen to the yeah. show broadcast out of Nashville, and it was very family friendly and very upbeat. And um, I've watched, I've watched it. I found it. You can find bits on YouTube. And then Hank comes on. And he's a man out of time. You see, he has the sort of power of of, uh, of a Mick Jagger or a David Bowie. Yeah. He has this extraordinary um, yeah. on-stage presence. I've heard you call him Elvis bef before there was Elvis. Before Elvis, Elvis yeah. I mean, he, he died about seven or eight years uh, before Elvis even hit big. That's right, so, yeah. It was, it was uh, he died pretty significant. You'll, you'll learn it all in the movie. Before we run out of time, I have sure. to ask you, uh, latest with uh, Avengers... All things Loki. What's 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 going on with that? <laughs> okay, uh, we are about to start filming Thor Ragnarok, which is the third installment in the Thor story. So, anyone who's a fan, um, it's not it's coming. Kind of Hank Williams to this. <laughs> yeah, different kind of headgear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's sort of uh, yeah. to go from those horns to the ten gallon. I don't think Hank. I think I don't think Hank would have been able to pull that off. <laughs> I, I frankly, I'm not sure that I can pull it off. Yeah. Um, you told me you just finished uh, your King Kong yeah, movie. just finished with the with the Brie Larson who just won the with Academy Brie, with, um, Yeah, Brie Larson who who had this extraordinary. Um, it was amazing. We started filming Skull Island in October, 
and then essentially every weekend until the end of the shoot, she would win another award. Yeah. <laughs> so we would be like, as a sort of trophy, trophy, trophy cabinet. Yeah. But it's an S and M. It's it's, Kong, it's called uh, Kong Skull Island. That will be out in March next year, and it's a new um, reconception of the King Kong yeah. myth. Great cast: Brie Larson, Samuel L. Jackson. Um, John Goodman, yeah. John C. Riley. Because Samuel L. Jackson is in every movie. You know, like, <laughs> like, yeah. Tom Hiddleston and his hat. He goes nowhere without his... Yeah, uh, man. The good Lord's will and the creek no rise. I'll be there soon. Uh, Lola, put the coffee pot on. Put the biscuits it. in the oven. I'll Thank be there quickly. Thank you for swinging quicker. by. WGN this morning. My pal Tom Hiddleston. Thank nice you. to see you. I saw the light opens in Chicago tomorrow. We'll be back with more WGN Morning News in a minute. have no place to go.